let's go over a little bit more on pointers. Now I'm going to start this off with a simple function. I created a function called 7.3, all in words, and this will set a variable to 7.3. Now if I run this, absolutely nothing will happen. Right here I have a, a, I am um, initialized a, a double variable x to 5.99. I call 7.3 as the, the, the parameter. I put x in as for the parameter here. And then absolutely nothing happens. <clears throat> now if we if we're uh, familiar with the rules of scope, we will know why. Hopefully we do, but if not, don't worry. Hopefully this will really clarify it. So what happens here now? This represents this blue thing here represents the main scope. Now don't worry, don't pay attention to anything else that's going on outside. Okay? Don't worry about it. Just only look inside the main scope here. So this is not a global scope that's in gray, just because I'm don't ignore it. So what happens here? I'm gonna make a, a visual of what's happening here. So first I declare a variable x. Okay? Now, don't worry about the double the types here. In fact, I'm going to delete the types because we know that these are all going to be double for this video. So it has the name X and uh, it has some kind of memory address. Don't worry about the memory address, but just know that it has a memory address. And each memory address will be different. There will never be two memory addresses that are the same. But just ignore them because I'm just making this one up here. I, I have no idea what the memory address would be. And so what happens here, I declare a variable, and it has an, an initial value of 5.99. Maybe we can see that. Alright, that's good enough. It has a value of 5.99 in here. And this is in the main scope. Okay. Now I'm going to put this over here. Then next, my next step is to call this function here. Now, when I call this function here, this is the same thing as if I did this. If, basically, you can imagine if I copy and pasted this here, but I declared this variable here as another double. It's like as if I did... um. If I declare it like this is the same exact thing as if I have done that. So that you can imagine if I copy and pasted this right over here. So we have a new scope. And inside this new scope. We have a new variable and it has the name temp. I'm going to make this a different color. Okay, so we have a new value here and it is set equal to 5.99. Because that's what happens here. First, we just pass this right here. Since x is the uh, parameter here, we only pass the value of it into here. So we're not at this step yet here. We're we're still we're still right here, and it's always going to be equal to the value that's passed into it. In this case, x was passed into this parameter here. So the va only the value, not not anything else, will be passed into here. Now, of course, this will have a different memory address. I'm just going to change one thing. Right, this memory address is always going to be different than this one. Then next, I set this particular variable equal to 7.3. And that's it. And then when I'm done, these things get destroyed. Gosh, dang it.
so absolutely nothing happened visually. We, we made a separate variable and we destroy it immediately after changing the value. But we, we probably want to change, we probably want a function that will allow us to change our variables. Now what I'm going to do different here, I'm going to make this as a pointer. Okay, so I, I created a pointer here, and I want to change the contents of that pointer to 7.3. So we will be doing something different here. So let me uh, move this out of scope here. Now this will be the last thing. Let me see where I'm at on time. Got four minutes left. Okay. Well, so, now what we can do here, we can make a variable with the double x, but I also would like to make a pointer. Call them. Um, pointer. Now, when I first declare a pointer, it is usually a good idea to set it equal to something. But I'm not going to do that. So pointers are always pointing to something. There, there's no such thing as a pointer not pointing to anything. But we don't know what the memory address is. And it's not going to be in scope. So it's pointing to something that we don't have control over. And we can change the value of that. But if we do do so, like if I decide to change the contents, of this here to 3 now we can we could mess up things in our program but there will be no permanent damage done to your computer it's just your only your program is going to be messed up when you're on this if you do things like this your program is pretty much doomed but you will not damage your PC at all by doing this so you won't mess up any memory you won't damage your RAM or anything like that and uh, if you have other programs running and running too, you will not change those variables either. All the variables that these things are pointing to are within your program. You may not have you may not have permission to use them, which you could still use them, but you will not damage any other programs or affect affect them running or if, or uh, cause them to mess up by doing this. But what we're going to do, continuing on here, we're going to say pointer is equal to the memory address of x. Okay? Now I want to pass in pointer here. And then let's run this. We actually changed the value of x to 7.3 without using any global variables or anything like that. We used a pointer the changes here. Now this is a kind of a silly function here but I just wanted to show you that we can actually go through the rules of scope by using this method here. Now let's see what happens visually here. Okay so first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna put make a variable called X and then I'm going to make a pointer in the same scope whose name is pointer. Now it's pointing to something here. We don't know what it's pointing to initially. Okay. So we declared these two variables here right now. Now when we get to this third line here, I uh, when we look at this toilet here, I told the, the uh, variable, the pointer, the point to this memory address. So this guy here is pointing to this memory address now. Next, we call this function here. Okay, so what happens then? Well, here, oops. Okay, 
so we make a function and then inside this function I automatically declare a new pointer okay and he is in here so we have a new pointer and his name is Tim and it's in a separate scope and that's the name well what's its initial value well I set it equal to the pointer value here right well pointers can only store memory addresses so he is pointing he has the same value as this one here so we have two variables we have two pointers that are pointing to the same variable here now notice he's pointing to a variable out of the same scope because this is this we gave it a specific memory address here when we assigned it when we pass in the pointer here, we set it equal to the same value. We set Tim equal to the same value as pointer here, so they're both pointing to the same variable. Now when I change the contents here of temp, I actually change this value here to 7.3, which is pointing to things out of scope. Then what happens after this here? So that's what happened here. I set it equal to the memory address, I changed the contents by using the dereferencing operator, the asterisk, to 7.3. Well, when this is done here, when I call this here, I remember, don't forget about the deconstructors, the constructor and deconstructor here. All these variables here are destroyed by the destructor. So these variables here are destroyed. The scope is destroyed, everything in here is destroyed. Now we're still left with just two variables, and we're left with this one here. Then we output it to the screen. Then when we come across the return statement, then of course everything is going to be destroyed, and you're not using up any memory. So don't forget, and that's how it will work. So don't forget, if I, if I close this here, um, even when I close my program, all the variables are destroyed. And we'll go over more on this, and I'll prove it to you in a, when I come back to pointers. So there is another way to change our variables through, through without. Um, there's another way of changing the variables without using pointers, and without using global variables. But we'll go over that next. And uh, I want to wrap up this video now because it's, we're going over time.